What's up guys, Sinus Talk here for the video. In this video right here will be the Black Friday Madness video. See what kind of crazy stuff is going on for Black Friday right here. I'm gonna go to this first spot over here. Good old Target. See what kind of crap that happened there. And usually I don't believe buy anything on Black Friday, but I figured um, cause some, some of the stuff they have for sale is like basic crap I don't want, but I figured I might as well just check it out anyway, see what they have, see what the madness is about. But also at the end of this video, I have a new Arrow Video Blu-ray release I'm gonna talk about and some VHS tapes that I picked up recently I'm gonna show you guys at the end of this video. So look out for that. Let's get the show on the road. Some of the barricades used earlier for the Black Friday insanity. And, uh, good old Target up here. Let's go inside and see what kind of stuff they have going on here. It is kind of busy right now as you can see. A bunch of people in there. And um, yeah, you know, it's about seven o'clock, so I kind of ditched the big crowd. But I think it opened up like an hour and a half ago. It's about seven, seven thirty right now. So, and some people bought some crazy stuff over there. A big old thing of uh, table tennis. Let's go see what we can have and uh, check out the movies and whatever else they have on sale. Here go some of the uh, DVDs and Blu-rays right here on sale, going on these little movie bins. Some TV show stuff over here. Like I'm not going to Game of Thrones, but it's it's over here on sale for ten bucks. But anyway. Mr. Robot, some odds and ends. It was like Deadpool over here for nine dollars, which I should get because I don't have that and I haven't even seen it yet. Isn't that weird? I've not even seen this yet. I should get that so I can say I've seen it. Maybe I will. You can see right here. It is a pretty good crowd right here. Everyone and people like insane, like waiting in line and stuff over there. As you can see, the line starts right there. You know, the electronics section, like everyone's all going crazy. This guy inside a cage. It looks like like, like you know, walking around like anyone's zombie, especially like, like this guy right here. He's got kind of like that, that weird droopy face zombie look or something. I don't know. Kind of does. He's like walking around like zombies right now. Kind of like me. I'm just like walking around like I don't know what I'm even doing. Why am I even here? I found a place in the whole store where no one's at right now. And it's over here in the birthday party area with pinatas. Which is kind of sweet, this little boombox pinata. But maybe no one over here. No one give a damn about this section. Kind of just kick back and relax in this little area. Like, oh man. Lots and lots of TVs. Check all these out. A whole thing of TVs right here. All right, so just left Target over there. Um, nothing there I really wanted to get. I might have got like one Blu-ray. I wasn't trying to get the play of the Deadpool, but the line in there was like about 30, 40 minutes long, which, which I kind of kind of had a feeling. I was just like, eh, I don't feel like waiting that long to get one movie. So um, maybe I'll get it at Walmart or Best Buy if it's like a bit of a shorter line or something. You never know. But now off to the mall and see what the mall madness is about. Going to Parkway Plaza over here in El Cajon, California. Over at the mall. It's a nice little indoor mall. Fair going here and uh, see how it is. They have like, you know, Walmarts over there. They have FYE here. That cool comics and stuff over here. And also there's a Best Buy right across the way too in the parking lot. So I can knock all that stuff out while I'm here. So I figured that's why I went over here. And I was trying to find, just trying to find a spot to park my car at. That might be difficult. All right, I found a parking spot over here in the parking garage. I got lucky someone just left while I was pulling in, so that was good. As you can see, it's like so packed up in here. And then over here, this small, it's probably really busy. Let's go, uh, let's check it out. I'm gonna this way to the food court, because God knows after Thanksgiving dinner, you gotta get some more food, right? Like everyone else over here. I'm gonna check out FYE right now. It's like right around the corner over here. So I might just check that out first, see how much I can record in there, put some of the music and stuff. Hopefully that gets some footage, we'll see. There, are FYE, let's go inside and um, maybe find some good deals and some goodies. Like I see, it's a lot busier in this section. Let's go in here, as much of these uh, crappy Funko Pops for 25% off. There you go, I'm not into them, but they're right here. So far, I don't hear no music, so that is a good thing. It's like, actually not even busy in here, it's actually kind of dead. It's actually more busier in this section up here than anywhere else that I see so far. This is kind of cool, it's like, Garage Bell Kids things, Billary Hillary. That's kind of funny, I guess, because of our election, maybe, I think. But, um, so we have over here, these little toys, these like weird little like fruit things. Shopkins, what the heck? And let's go by the movie area and we can find some deals on some goodies. Here on the horror section, as you can see, look at this blood diner, but think about FYE, but it sucks. As the prices are overpriced, this is $40. Holy crap, I'm not even like a, like a Black Friday sale on this thing. It's like too bad. It's kind of looking around here so I can see, you know, but you know, some screen factory stuff and whatnot. Other than that, though, nothing really crazy that I'm seeing on deals. I'm going to leave this place in a bit because all the movies are pretty pricey. Well, this NECA Griswold, Santa Clark thing, it's kind of a cool, it's kind of really, it almost looks like Nicolas Cage right there, sort of, doesn't he? Like below that, you have this really cool, like, 
Griswold family Christmas thing. I kind of dig that. It's kind of cool. It's like, like Jason or something. I kind of dig that. It's pretty, that's pretty rad. I think I'm sure what you're going for. That's pretty cool. I would definitely sport that maybe. That's kind of cool. There's a lot of ends in this table right here. Some like little weird little little things like this. Yeah, that's cool. And the weird Nicholas Cage looking Chevy Chase make a toy. That's pretty rad. All right, so I just left FYE over there. Nothing I ever wanted to get. It was all kind of pricey, the stuff. Best drawing video for 40 bucks. I don't think I'm going to get that. So off to um, maybe Walmart. And this in here is really like, it's jam packed. People everywhere. As I figured it would be. But it's like, oh man, it gets crazy and crazy. And like kind of stuffy too. I kind of regret wearing this long sleeve t shirt sweater thing. All right, uh, welcome to Hell on Earth, which is uh, Walmart. And you have to go, I guess, this way over here to go inside here. You can't go through, you have to go this way around the bin over here to get inside. It's like, oh, we have to go outside to get in. Holy shit. It's like we're uh, being herded in like cattle ready for the slaughter, which is Walmart. That's what it feels like right now. Uh, ready to the slaughterhouse of Walmart. Oh, man. So, like the uh, escalators are busted up because everyone's to like walk up and down these things because they're like they're broken and stuff. So off to the movie area, see what kind of like, deals they get going on. Maybe better deals than Target and uh, whatnot. Let's go see. Right, we're going to the movie section. See what kind of stuff they have going on here. All these orange stickers are like ten bucks. It's like the same price as at Target. You know, ten bucks for that. Not bad. Um, maybe I'll get it. We'll see. Cause the line's kind of long. I don't want to wait in there to get that, but, but maybe. Let's see what else I can get over here. Here we go in the section. Like all these ones are like six dollars with the black promotional stickers on them. I think it'll good over here. Look how much I'm seeing so far. Oh, dude, I think I'm, I'm gonna get this Twilight Saga. Dude, totally getting that. Not just kidding. Hell no. Just just plain. So I left the uh, movie section over there. Nothing much I really uh, wanted to get. It was all like just basic stuff. I'm always picky with like movies and stuff. I'm only into the mainstream titles as much as the horror ones and crap like that but uh you know i could have got conjuring 2 the line's like really long i'm like yeah you know, it, you know i don't know it's like waiting like half hour in line to get it but um so now i want to go walk around hit up a different store it's pretty much all i want to check out at uh, walmart maybe hit up uh, best buy or something but i'm gonna go around the mall some more see what i can find so i'm gonna check out it's above their comics and stuff they're open right now so i'm gonna see if they have any they put out some new VHSs, some DVDs and Blu-rays in there, like the horror ones. And they put some new stock out for Black Friday, I'm hoping. Let's go see it. Here I'm upstairs, go comics and stuff. It's kind of nice being up here, because you're away from the crowd down below, so there's not really many people in there, so let's go see what they have. We are inside, it's like really like no one in here right now. It's like maybe like five, six people. That's about it, but it's kind of nice. In the movie section over here, all the VHSs are at, it can really slim down, but I'm looking here to see what I can find. I just love this Pound Puppies one, big box. Homie Five is still here. You know, that's kind of cool. They still have this. What else they have? Uh, it's most of the same stuff is still up here. You can get some of like the Many Faces of Death. And they get the um, Electric Boogaloo Brick and two that's still here also. That's pretty funny. I'm gonna look through here. Oh, this is kind of cool. Look at this. My Pet Monster, the complete two disc series. That's kind of cool. I don't know if it's $12.99 if that's worth it or not. I'm gonna see if it is, but that's kind of rad. And what else they have? Like freaking Teddy Ruck's pin also. That's awesome. Look at this though, three for ten bucks. All DVDs are five bucks each. That's pretty damn awesome. So I mean maybe I might find some out of print ones because they kind of you know they kind of get caught slipping here. So I'm gonna look around and see this whole thing and see what I can find here. I might find some cool stuff. Cool things like Chuck Norris karate commandos. Look at some like little things like this old DVF intruder. It's a pretty cool movie. I definitely like this one. Like this about this uh, people that get like, caught up like in a grocery store overnight. It's like a killer in the loose. It's great stuff. Really, really good cheese, good cheesy makeup and stuff. But I'm just kind of looking through here and seeing what they have. And I found a couple things I might get, but I'm just trying to find anything else that might be like, like valuable. Like right up front, I'm hoping to they'll have something here. That's a few things before, but I'm hoping I can find something else that'll make it look really worthwhile. Check out this one, it's like this weird one called Moonstock. I heard this before, it comes as a weird little cheap ass like DVD case. It's like only a few bucks, it's like DVD Aww. value. I mean, nothing on it, probably really crappy quality, but it's like it looks like a really cool, crappy 
you know, I mean, a horror anthology like kind of thing. Maybe I'll get it for a laugh if it's part of the deal. I'll throw this in there possibly uh, with Karate Commandos and maybe something else I can find some. I'll see hopefully if I have this here on DVD, which is like, you know, it's like, you know, it's like sort of like brand. It's like a slice in it. That's so cool. I actually have this here for like really, really cheap. And they have like Bloody Moon, which is a good one, and some other ones like Henry II. That's some like interesting stuff here, and it's like really cheap right now, like not bad at all. So it's up the movie area. Is, uh, I might get a, something over there. I'm thinking about it. It's, like, the one thing I, I thought I was going to try to find, like I found last time, that I saw they had here, they don't have it anymore. I'm like, crap, so I don't know if I'm going to get anything or not for that deal, but I'm going to think about it now. Just kind of walking around. So they have over here by the action figure section. If you buy two, get one free. So hopefully that's some cool ones. If they do, I definitely will do that, but I'm going to look around and see if they do. Maybe like some things, nothing I really need to get, like Land of the Lost and Robin and Prince of Thieves, like that's okay, but nothing I really need to have right now. These are pretty sick though, the Mad Balls. And this one's like upside down. I, I bought this one uh, last year at the, the store, not during Black Friday, but it's during like a regular time. That's kind of cool though. So yeah, I failed there. I wasn't gonna go get some of those DVDs. It was a good, you know, really good deal, three for 10. I found two I wanted to get, but the third one, I didn't even know what the hell I wanted to get, so I was like, oh, no, so I didn't, so I didn't do it. So now I'm gonna go around the mall and see what else I can find. Actually, the worst spot you can be in right now, I'm in a clothing store, JCPenney to be specific. And what's cool about this place, I just wanna come here and bring back the memories. I used to work at this JCPenney years ago, one of my first jobs was actually at this mall, at this JCPenney in the men's department. So I'm gonna look around here and get some nightmares and flashbacks of messy crap like this on Black Friday. Oh god, it was a nightmare to clean this crap up back in the day. Everything's like dismantled and stuff. Got it up, tossed out. Oh my god, this was like a nightmare to clean up back in the day. It was like it was like horrible. I had to fold all this crap. I had to do that crap back in the day. Oh my god. That was a nightmare. Oh man. I should definitely get this purple lavender jacket. What do you think, huh? It's totally me. Should I get this? What do you, what do you, what do you think? Huh? That could be my new look. Now I'm good. Left JC Penny. Uh, it was nice, disastrous in there. Who man, it's had to check it out for Black Friday for some uh, old memories. Go off to just walk around aimlessly like a zombie. So I think I'm gonna leave here now. Pretty much walked around. Now I'm just gonna go to uh, Best Buy across the way, see what's in there. And last stop of the night is Best Buy. See what they have in this joint. Here goes the Best Buy bargains. We're at six ninety nine, all the way up to like nine ninety nine, five ninety nine, two ninety nine. So I'm gonna see what they have in here that I think I might need. So far I'm looking, I'm seeing nothing much I really want. But I'm gonna look around, I'm gonna see, you never know. They get like The Witch, which I heard good things about. Kind of a slow burn movie, but I haven't seen it yet. I'm for $5.99. I'm gonna just have to pick that up. That's not much not a bad deal. Just walk around here, I'll up the one movie section, all the stuff that's like the uh, Best Buy specials, trying to think what to get. And it's like sort of busy, mostly everyone's over there at the, like check out the PS4s and Xbox Ones and stuff. left Best Buy over there and I didn't get a damn thing. I was gonna pick up, you know, a couple of Blu-rays and stuff and I was like, I really don't give a crap about watching that right now for some damn reason. You might think I'm a dumbass, but I really don't really, I'm like, eh, whatever. I'll just run it out or something like that. I'm just like, what am I doing? I'm like, ah, it's like weird, I know. I'm like, dumb. But anyway, um, now off to show you the Blu-ray I got recently by Arrow Video USA and some VHSs I got recently this past week at Kingston Video. Right, here you go, I'm on top of the parking garage over here at the mall and why not do it like that right but first move the blu-ray i'm gonna talk about this new one from arrow video usa is this one right here good old classic chud cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers say that five times fast i don't think so but anyway this movie is a great 80s throwback classic right here really cool practical effects starring uh john hurd and daniel stern they're both were in uh, you know home alone and stuff like that daniel stern of course is the voice of the wonder years and he narrates the show and all that kind of deal really cool cool movie takes place in new york and like there's this weird disappearing uh, homeless people other kinds of people just disappearing all of a sudden in the recent weeks and the captain of the police force wife goes missing so he's trying to find out any clues to find out where his wife is at and so he meets up uh, with uh, Daniel Stern is like a head of a soup kitchen, takes care of homeless people in the downtown area of Manhattan. And he's, uh, and he's, and he's um, discovering some missing people and stuff like that, missing homeless people. And there's like some different stories of these weird things going on in the underground sewer system of Manhattan, New York. And the discovery of that, they find out that the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, is like doing some weird like stuff underneath the sewers and stuff like that, these weird like, things. And they find out there's like these experiments going on with like them dumping waste. And the sewers 
and it's causing these these weird mutations of these like, homeless people and stuff like that to become these cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers, and they just kill people with glowing eyes and crazy stuff. And they rip people apart. This is really cool, fun, fun movie. Like really cool, like practical effects. Really uh, awesome soundtrack. This thing, the score of this is awesome. Really cool keyboards and synth kind of music. It looks amazing on Blu-ray. This thing right here, really, really cool. And if you saw this before, definitely upgraded this. It looks awesome on Blu-ray. You get a host of special features, like a really cool commentary track, and uh, with J with John Hurt on there. And you also get like a really cool like the interviews with some of the actors and the director. And some behind the scenes footage from back in the day and some photo stills. Really loaded up here looks awesome the original cover art to this thing too which i'll show right now the classic chud artwork i remember that from back in the day on vhs tapes really really love that even the new artwork looks really really cool i think this is going to release this past tuesday so this is out now available if you want to get this link down below if you want to order this really really cool awesome you know every video they're killing it Let's like put movies like this out. I love this. I, I remember watching this a lot when I was a kid. Ran out of video stores like Blockbuster, Mom and Pop Shops. I go to my, go to my friend's house. I always rent this thing out. Just, especially for like 80s like horror flicks. This is definitely a must have to put in your collection. Really, really good stuff. Real quickly, I might as well show you guys some VHS I got a couple days ago. Got all these for 40 bucks. Kind of pricey, but you know what? They're like 10 bucks a pop. Not a bad deal. For some, especially some of the ones I got. Cannot go wrong. Got this one right here called Aftermath. It's like a weird like science fiction mutant like a post-apocalyptic movie didn't even see it yet you know look like the, the cool back artwork that thing and you get Sid Hag in that thing too so that's what sold me on getting this thing looks like a really weird one a little prism clamshell check this out because Alice in Wonderland puppet movie that's the lost puppet movie the long lost puppetry puppet tune classic I don't know, I didn't even see this yet, but it looks amazing. Look at the artwork that thing. It looks really cool. It looks really weird. I mean, Alice in Wonderland Puppets. You cannot go wrong by Monterey Home Video. De definitely sold me. Riding high. Look at that artwork, that thing. The box is like nice and shiny. They're starting this guy named Eddie Kidd. Stunt uh, motorcycle person back in the day. Pretty much, you know, what is look at this. Rock and roll and motorcycles. Can you like have a bad combination than that. I don't think you can have a bad combination. That sounds pretty damn awesome, like peanut butter and jelly. I gotta have it. And look at this, like look at the back of this thing, all kinds of cool music in this. Look at the bands that are featured on the soundtrack, this thing. It's like a really, I don't even know if it's really a bass saw trailer to it on, on YouTube. And it looks like this uh, guy, he's like, I don't know, just does like these stunt rock things. Like they're not stunt rock, just like these stunts on motorcycles and like crazy crap happens. And what else happened? I have no idea, let me see like a televised competition, and uh, that's what happens. He wins prizes, and it's like, look at this. It's suitable for all ages. It's a family fun film. I don't know if it is, but that cover art looks amazing right there. Had to get it by USA Entertainment, which I love about this company, is they have a lot of really cool trailers at the end of their videos. Like, I love these USA Entertainment ones. They're really, really cool because the trailers they show at the end of the movies. This is just badass. It's, I love the way it looks. And last but not least is this right here. Zombie-thon, wizard video, none of that cheap crap Charles Band sells off nowadays, that knockoff stuff. This is the original wizard video. I mean, 10 bucks for this? I mean, that, that, that's insane. It goes for a hell of a lot more than that. Believe me, this is awesome. Rare as hell. It's pretty much just a compilation of zombie flicks put on this uh, set right here. But look at that artwork, that thing, man. The artwork to that is absolutely gorgeous, badass. Freaking 80s, love the Wizard video. I think Wizard video is so cool. Sought after it, had to get it. I mean, this is awesome. I saw this before, like a long time ago. Here's just one more time the back of it. It's pretty much just a compilation of, you know, just zombie flicks, and it takes place in a, in a movie theater. And it's cool in between like certain scenes, there's like these like cheesy acting in the movie theater with like zombies in there. And it's like very 80s, it's very, very cool. I just love it. Like if, you're, if you watch this, it's on DVD, you can get it through, you know, Full Moon and stuff like that. But, uh, but man, I, I prefer having it on VHS, especially like this. This just brings back nostalgia. That smell of the cardboard big box of Wizard Video. Man, this is just badass. I just love it. And it's, uh, look at this. I like the way it says. Shambling shapes, crawling creeps, fleshless fiends. The liveliest festival of the dead is about to begin. That's a, that's a tagline of pure awesomeness. Yeah, this is just so cool. Let's show you the inside of this real quick. It comes in this little plain clamshell. We open it up and look at this. Wizard video with that awesome hot red sticker. 
Look at this, 50 cent charge, but the tape is not rewound. I love that stuff. But that clean as a whistle. Right, that's it for my video right there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I didn't get nothing on Black Friday, which I usually don't. It's just my weird little thing. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. A little bit crazy out there, not as crazy as I thought it would be, but it's still pretty packed and nuts. And if you guys want to get that Arrow video release, link down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys did for your Black Friday, if you guys went out or not. And I'll catch you guys later. And I'll see everyone up here later. I'll catch you guys later above. And the Black Friday madness commences down there still as I get the hell out of here. Oh, yes. I'll see you.